Hi, I'm Paul Rodelavage from Synergy Electrical Sales. Today we're going to cover the basics of the Lutron Energy Saver Node panel. The panel can be set up in one of three ways. It can be programmed right from the panel. It can also be programmed with a Apple iPod or iPad application to set up the system. And the third way is it can be part of a Lutron quantum system. In this video, we're just going to show you the basics of the panel so that you're comfortable with it. As always, any specific installation instructions or connections should be referred to the manufacturer's instructions. All right, so we're going to show you the basic components of the Lutron Energy Saver node panel. So we see their name right there. This one does 0 to 10 volt dimming, and it also does switching. There's the model number. There's uh, a few different varieties of this, but this is the most common one we're seeing uh, right now in the market. So take this off. The unit's plenum rated if you ever need to mount it in a plane. Um, comes with this line voltage shield. It's going to temporarily take that off. I don't have any power wired to it right now, just for demonstration purposes. So there's where our power to the unit goes in, either 120 or 277, to main all this, maintain all the circuitry in the energy saver node panel. We've got four relays here. Again, with zero to 10 volt dimming, we have a relay to turn the line voltage on and off. And then we also have zero to 10 volt dimming, which connects down here. This back on. All right, so four, one, two, three, four zones, and then the zero to 10, one, two, three, four, correspond to those relays as well. So we have that part there. This unit itself also has the ability to power occupancy sensors. So we can do four occupancy sensors. We can also do daylight sensors, one, two, three, four, directly from the unit. We can do a low voltage dimmer or low voltage switch. And we can also bring just a standard contact toggle switch in and program it right from the unit. As I mentioned before, there's a basic way to set this up, which allows you to turn things on and off and dim it from here for test purposes, but also to set up these sensors with some very basic programming. So that's convenient as well. Um, if you wanted to do more advanced programming, there is this component, which it's called the um, programming interface, which allows you to connect an Apple device, either an iPod or an iPad, to the energy saver node for more advanced features and setup in the system. The way that that gets connected is right here, which we call the QS link. Okay, that QS link is a four conductor cable. I'm showing it here. Typically it's two number 12s and then two number 22s twisted and shielded. If you wanted to bring the energy saver node into a full building automation system, we would again use that QS link right here, and we would bring it to a computer processor, which is called a quantum processor, and now we have a full building automation system for our lighting. So again, just want to show you the basic components of the panel. Again, refer, refer to the manufacturer's instructions for all wiring connections, but this is what the, what's in the box. Help you understand it, help you get it started on a project. Thanks for watching.